be intimidated by problem 59. But if you understand the basic sine function, you're going to see this isn't very difficult of a problem. So this is the basic sine function. Um, one cycle is shown here. And how high it goes and how low it goes from this midline is called the altitude. That number is represented by whatever is in front of the sign. So this goes up as high as one and as low as one. As high as one and as low as one. Now we can take this entire curve and we can vertically shift it up or down based on the value of C. If C is positive, we shift everything up. If C is negative, we shift everything down. Each one of these represents what could C be in order to ensure that this graph does not cross the x-axis. So if I shifted this up, if I shifted this up, notice that if I shifted it up 1, that this point would still be on the x-axis. And if I shifted this entire graph down 1, everything went down 1, this point would still be on the x-axis. We want no we want no x-intercepts. So we'll have to either do one of the two things. We'll have to take the entire graph and shift it up just a little bit more than one. So everything will have to go up just slightly more than one, slightly greater than one, or everything will have to be shifted down slightly more than one. So up more than one or down more than one. And we can see that represented in D. These open circles means not equal to 1 or negative 1. This means greater than 1 or less than negative 1. Correct answer is D.